Thank goodness. What is this? This is just like the upstairs, somewhat. This door is locked. With the master key, though, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, where is it? This isn't funny. Was I pickpocketed? Did I drop it? Well, this is a delightful surprise. Okay. What is going on in here? There are books all over the floor. What is this? Ah. It's a mask. Could this be the one the victim's sister mentioned? It was hardly hidden. Was anyone ever in this room besides the uncle? I'm gonna have to show the sister that in a second. Thank you for finding my oldest niece. What a relief. You're creepy. This is a nightmare. I'm gonna show him the mask. What if he kills me? Oh, uh, that strange thing. It's been sitting there on the table since I got here, but I have no idea how it ended up in this room. It was actually one of Anna's birthday gifts. It was? Yeah, she had quite a few cheap sta- skeep- Okay. <laughs> Sorry, can't talk today. She had quite a few cheapskate friends. She was lucky... That is what that says. Okay, but she was lucky her dad was so well off. He gave her much better gifts, but I guess it doesn't matter now. Can you prove that the mask had already been moved here by the time you came in? Uh, not really. Is there a reason I should have to? I see. Never mind. Alright. Uh... Fine, we'll just not talk to you anymore. I don't think that there's anything in here that I can just find, so I'm gone. See ya. Uh, let's talk to her. Thank you for finding my remaining charge safe and sound. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll come back and talk to you in a second. Where's the daughter? It's locked. Since I've somehow managed to lose the master key, I can't open it. That freaking landlady must have it. She's with her boyfriend in the bathroom. What are y'all doing? Anna, I still can't believe it. What is it? I've already shared everything that I saw. Well, I'm gonna show you the mask. Don't freak out. Don't yell. Don't run. Wait, that's not what I meant to click. Sorry. Give me a second. That's... that's definitely the mask the shooter wore. Wretched thing. Where did you find it? It was in the living area. I... I see. What is it? I've already shared everything that I saw. Okay. Huh. Well? Um, thank you for finding my girlfriend. Can the two of us leave now? Not yet. Please stay here until I've sorted everything through. So, you still suspect me, huh? Fine. Um... Let's show him the mask. Goodness, he doesn't know anything. He's useless. Thank you for finding my daughter. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I only wish that Anna was as safe and sound as her sister. You know, I don't actually recall hiring a detective, but I'm so glad that you arrived. Uh, it wasn't you who hired me? Who hired me? You don't know who called you? Not really. Uh, I mean, I couldn't recognize the voice over the phone. That's what I meant. Maybe it was the landlady. Landlady? The owner of this place? She's the only one who didn't know Anna, after all. It's only reasonable to think that she was likely of the soundest mind. What? Who's this landlady that you're speaking of? I've never spoken with any owner. I rented this place out by speaking with a man over the phone. What a mistake this whole thing turned out to be. Oh my god, she's not real. Uh, you don't? Never mind. It's nothing important. Huh. If you say so, you're the detective. After all, I'm still counting on you. Please, help my daughter find peace. Okay, where's this landlady? This is freaking scary. Hello, you liar. Yeah, nobody knows you. 
I talked to the victim's father. He says he doesn't remember speaking with or seeing you. He rented this place from a man over the phone. I see. That's not terribly surprising. My presence isn't particularly noticeable, and I've been mistaken for a man once or twice before over the phone. Her voice sounds plenty feminine to me. Is there something you'd like to ask of me? Yeah, is there a are you a liar button? No. You're freaking lying to me. I don't like it. I want my key back. Uh, you saw someone else. That... you don't think... Crap, I knew this place was haunted. It was the ghost. The ghost killed Anna. I... I gotta get out of here soon. What if it comes for us next? I'm gonna ask her about the landlady. Landlady? I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about. Was there someone else here? What is it? I've already shared everything. Okay, so... Nobody knows who this lady is. Does she? I guess I can't ask her anything or show her anything. I'm gonna ask the uncle. This is creepy. Hmm, was there someone else here? That's a little odd. I don't remember seeing anyone. I don't suppose those ghost stories could be... Nah, never mind. This sucks. Nobody knows who she is. I'm going crazy. Just let me leave. I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, the party started normally enough. I prepared dinner in the kitchen from between 4 and 5 p.m. The girls did help me with that. Afterwards, I served it and set up the cake and presents at about 6. I simply conversed with the rest of the guests once dinner and cake were over. I wasn't as responsible as I should have been. I drank. A lot, actually. I did a rather poor job of watching the girls. Aside from escorting them to bed, I didn't see a lot of either of them after dinner. I was with their poor father and that schoolboy when I heard the gun. I wish I could begin the night again. I would never take my eyes off Anna. Okay. Can I show her anything now? Nope. That's alright. Victim's movements. Was anything off about Anna during the party? I never saw much of her. I'm afraid I failed in my responsibilities. Motives. Can you think of anyone who might bear a grudge against Anna or the family? Nothing springs to mind. I mean, there's the shadier aspects to my master's company, but no one here is involved in that. Nope. Alright. So we have asked her everything, so let's discuss with him. That's what I was doing. I totally didn't realize that I had new stuff to ask them, but alright. Evening whereabouts. Can you tell me about the rest of the evening from the time you arrived here but up until the incident? What were you doing? We arrived at the mansion at around 4 p.m. There were many more guests earlier in the day. I spent the majority of the evening talking with them. We had dinner, cake, and presents at roughly 6 p.m. If memory serves correctly after that, it was right back to talking. We all drank a bit. Even after the majority of the guests left, I still relaxed in the main lounge. Our nanny and that wretched boy who hangs around my girl were there too when I heard the gun. I never actually saw either of my girls much during the party. I should have been more diligent. It was Anna's birthday after all. And now, and now I won't see her again. Alright. Nope, I don't need to show him anything. That was an accident. Okay victim's movements. Did you notice anything unusual in the way Anna behaved recently? How was she during the party? What? Sir? There was something. I didn't pay much notice at the time. Oh lord, how I should have. Please, sir, tell me what it was. 
It was around 7 p.m., I believe. I was talking with the rest of the guests when Anna came up to me and asked if we could speak. I don't know what it was about, but I was engrossed in conversation. I can't imagine what could have been more important than my Anna now, and told her to run along. What could she have wanted to tell me? I'm so sorry, Anna. Okay, let's ask him the last one, which is on motives. Is there anyone who might have wanted to hurt your daughter or your family? Well, my company, it's, um, let's just say there are certain people who aren't particularly pleased with me right now, but certainly no one here, and those of us who are left are the only ones who were present during the incident, as far as I know. She was close to both my brother and her nanny. They wouldn't want to hurt her. The only one I'm not particularly fond of is my older daughter's boyfriend, but I never saw him as someone capable of hurting my girls. Not like this. A bit seedy, perhaps, but not a murderer. I'm at a loss. Okay, then. What is it? I've already shared everything. Okay, well... Evening whereabouts. You've already told me about the incident. True. But what were you doing the rest of the evening? Oh, well, I was with my boyfriend, of course. Though I went to bed at 9pm, just like Daddy always insists. Naturally, that was before getting up to use the restroom and being attacked. All right, Motive, uh, movements. Um, did you see your sister much during the party? Did you? Did anything seem off with her? I didn't actually see her much before bed, I'm afraid. I was busy with my own things. Had I known that this would be my last night with her. What is it? I've already shared. Okay. Ooh, what was she busy with? Her and her boyfriend? Okay. <laughs> is there anyone who might have wanted to hurt your sister or your family? No. Not as far as I know, at least. Okay. Can you tell me where you've been this evening? Where were you when you heard the gun? I've been with my girl all evening, honest. Well, until she went to bed at 9pm anyway. I was just hanging out in the main lobby when I heard it. Her father and the nanny were there. Alright. Victim's movements. Did you notice anything strange about Anna during the party? Look, I never m spent much time with the spoiled brat, alright? She wasn't the sibling I'm interested in. At least it's quiet in here, okay. He's a jerk. Can you think of anyone who might have held a grudge against Anna? How the heck would I know? I barely knew the kid. How about your girlfriend? No, nothing on this level. This whole thing is insane. Okay. I've asked everybody everything, haven't I? I don't know if I asked the uncle what his motives could have been or anything. What were you doing during the party? Where were you when you heard the shots? Well, for one thing, I drank. Boy, did I drink. So in other words, nothing unusual. I did a lot of talking alongside my brother. I came down with a bit of a headache at around 8pm though. After that, I came in here to rest for a while. I needed some time to myself, and I'd been planning to sleep on the couch here tonight. I was still here when the gunshots went off. Victims movements. Was anything off about Anna during the party? There was. She came to me late this evening while I was resting here in this room. It was about 8.30, I think. She said she wanted to talk. I don't know what it was about, but she seemed rather upset, nervous almost. But I was too drunk to pay her any notice. I brushed her off. I wasn't there when she needed me. What would she have said, I wonder? Would she still be alive? Um, what are your motives? Because you seem suspicious. Okay. Can you think of anyone who might bear a grudge against Anna or the family? Unless my brother's business problems crept into the party, no one comes to mind. Okay. Ooh. I've collected quite a bit of info now. I doubt that I'm going to be able to get much more from anyone here. Maybe it's time I try and cut the suspects li list in half. With everything I've learned so far, three stand out as the most suspicious. The three most suspicious people are... <laughs> um... Uh, I would say the uncle. 
What was it about him that was suspicious? I'll choose the proof. What was it that was most suspicious? The boots are more suspicious than the mask. That's right, and that's not all. There was something else. Okay, the mask. That's right. There was something else. I guess uncle's statement? That's right. Okay. Yes, the uncle. Not only were his boots used during the crime, the mask the killer was supposedly wearing was also found in the room where he rested. Perhaps even more notably, he was alone when the gunshots went off. No one else mentioned seeing him. He has no solid alibi. Okay. I don't know how I feel. The landlady is just super suspicious. Choose proof. No one else knows who she is. Her statement, that's right. Okay. Um... Where's the landlady question mark? There. That's right. Yes, the landlady. No evidence connects her to the crime, but the fact that the others never seem to notice her presence is odd enough. She had ample opportunity and has no solid al alibi. The final suspicious person is... I would say the sister. Yep. Um... The sister scream? No. Alright. Let me just choose something else. Leanne. Her location? That's right. Um... The beds weren't touched, but she said they... They were. Okay. That doesn't work. So... Where's that scrape on her face? Sister's scrape. That's right. Yes, the sister. One thing's that's one thing's certain is that she was at the scene of the crime. If she's telling the truth, then she's innocent. But if she isn't, all right. I've narrowed it down to the uncle, the sister, or the landlady. But there's one thing I'm lacking in all three of their cases: a motive. Let's see what I can do about that. But I'm not quite sure where else to look. Sigh. A shame that I lost the master key. Let me guess, you're bringing me the key? You again? Don't look qu so dismayed. I'm here to help, you know. I noticed that the doors to the kitchen and dining room were locked, so I did a bit of digging and happened to find this. Mess area key. It's not the master key, but it should get you inside those two rooms, since they're still locked. I'm taking the library oh i'm taking the liberty of assuming that you lost the ladder i did what's with you anyway whatever do you mean dear don't play dumb you're constantly butting into my business yet no one else has made mention of you why then perhaps i'm the mansion's ghost that's creepy don't say that that was a joke dear please make haste with the rest of your investigation all right no, I, I think you're really the ghost. After all, the sun is about to come up. Hee hee hee. Don't do that, you're creepy. Well, at least I've got the key to work with now. Let's wrap this up. Let's. Presents! It seems the victim had no shortage of presents. Though they won't do her much good now. They'll all go to waste, she was clearly loved. I'll take them. Um, yeah, it's the same thing. Envelope, okay, and uh, what's this card doing all by itself? Uh, it's open, should I take a peek? Yeah, let's have a look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dearest Anna, leave or I'll get rid of you myself. I'm not afraid to make this birthday your last. Okay, put the card away. That music made it creepier. This is... it's a threat. This murder was clearly premeditated, but why would someone threaten a little girl? Hmm. The scrawl is messy. Whoever wrote it must have been trying to hide their handwriting. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I don't like creepy games. I don't. I don't. Okay, um... 
Is there anything else to check out in here? Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. This is ridiculous. Did I just walk on the wall? Nope, okay. I like this game. Uh, was it this door that was locked? Yes, it was. This is the kitchen. What is in here? Nothing that I can look at. Oh, here's some stuff. Hmm, what's this document here? It doesn't look like it belongs in the kitchen. Wait, this- it looks like it's an inheritance deed of some sort. There's a logo for a bank embedded on the bottom. I'm not one for legal speak, so I'm not quite sure what it says. I think I should make it my business to find out. I smell a motive. Me too, I smell it. I don't like it. It's giving me a headache. I'm gonna show him the inheritance. Where are you? There it is. That's... Where did you find this? I found it lying on a table in the kitchen. It's some kind of inheritance deed, correct? That's right, I was discussing it with our nanny earlier. I must have simply left it there. How foolish. What does it say? Why do you need to know? It's possible that it could be related to the case. I have to look at the situation from every angle. It details what I would like done with regards to my bank should I pass away. My brother and our nanny get small shares, but it was actually Anna who was to take over the company. Now I don't know what I'll do. Her sister isn't cut out for it. Not cut out for it. That's right. They were never great to begin with, and after the passing of her dear mother, my oldest daughter's grades slipped dangerously low and haven't recovered, unlike my bright Anna's. Due to her age, it was originally going to my elder daughter, of course, but she'll never be the leader that Anna could have been. I just recently had the bill revised, and I had planned to tell Anna tonight on her birthday, but I never got the chance. I see. Okay. I don't think I need to show him anything else. I guess I will. Okay. What is this? Where did you find this? It was lying by the rest of her presents. Who would do this? Who could want to get rid of my poor girl? What jerk wrote this? Sir? Okay. Anna, why didn't you tell me? Or maybe, maybe it was me who wouldn't listen. Anna, I'm so sorry, Anna. Maybe I should just leave him alone for a while. Okay. I think I know who the killer is. I need some more quiet to think this through.